public. It's, we were hoping that the development secretary, Andrew Mitchell, would deliver it to you himself, um, but he's refused to do so. So this is um, a contribution to the UN Adaptation Fund from the members of the UK public. I think um, the chair of the board was uh, Farouk. I think he was uh, probably a little bit surprised to receive our cheque, but I think he seemed appreciative and um, he did mention that he felt that the UK government will hopefully follow through and give more money as the members of the public are clearly demanding of him. So, And where do you hope to see this money go? Well, there's the need for adaptation in developing countries is massive. So there's there are, there are um, countries across the world are desperately in need of, um, of funds to support all the problems that, have, that climate change is causing. So it will be things like supporting new agriculture methods, sea defences, um, all, all kinds of different things to help countries cope with the impacts of climate change that have been caused in, by the rich world, but it's the world's poorest countries who are suffering most from the impacts. Did you find it challenging to raise the amount? I know it wasn't it wasn't much, but how hard was it to raise that amount? I think members of the the members of the, the world development movement who've been who've been campaigning on our behalf for this campaign are so outraged by the fact that at the moment the UK government is giving loans through the World Bank that will only increase developing country debt, um, which is clearly massively unfair for a problem caused by by the UK and other rich countries, and so it actually wasn't that difficult to get people to stand behind the campaign as soon as they understood that what we're doing is making countries pay, pay cl twice with climate change, both to cope with the impacts of climate change but also then to be shackled with further debt because of the, because of, um, the funds that are being given through loans by the World Bank. Um, so I think it, there was, it was quite easy to get plenty of popular support. So do you think it should be easy for them to raise lots of money? Well, it should be easy because this, um, this fund was set up through the UNFCCC process that has the support of 192 countries and it was set up democratically through that process. So it shouldn't be difficult for them to re receive the money, but so far I think a pathetic total of around three countries have given a very small amount of money to the fund. And we think that's absolutely outrageous. Countries like the UK have not given a single penny any. And so in spite of some warm words that they've got to say about the UN Adaptation Fund, they're not supporting it. And we think that's absolutely outrageous. Right now, is the sense that I have from our uh, colleagues, our partners, that they have managed to, uh, they, they now realize that Adaptation Fund is a reality. Uh, they have seen Adaptation Fund making progress. They have seen Adaptation Fund delivering, or at least starting to deliver. Uh, we started from a scratch, from a two sheets of paper. Uh, which was the decision uh, by the uh, CMP to uh, undertake, uh, to evolve a fund. Mm -hmm. So starting from that scratch, it, it took us two, three years to evolve as institutional edifice. Mm -hmm. But now we are a reality, now we are delivering. But yes, the voice, the experiences, the needs of developing countries have been the paramount thing in, in our uh, formulation of our policies and guidelines. So this is indeed something very unique. I think one of the biggest grants we got was from uh, Spain, 45 million euros. Uh, Germany has given us about 10 million. Sweden is also equal. And then we have uh, even small countries like Monaco, $10,000. And then people like you giving us 100, 1,400 pounds. Yes, <laughs> we, are, we are latching on to every money that we can get. Yes, because it's, it's very important at the moment for, for the money to start flowing to the UN Adaptation Fund. It is very important because we are now in, as uh, anybody would say, we are now in business. Uh, 
we have started receiving projects and uh, we are in the process of approving them. We have uh, delivered on two to have been approved. About six to eight are uh, nearly approved because uh, they, they were two-step process. First we approved the concept and now we will receive the full-fledged projects and that is being done. So yes, uh, financing for, on developing countries' need for adaptation is enormous. Yes. An adaptation fund to date has $156 million. And if you project all our money proceeds uh, until 2012, uh, it comes about roughly in the range of, uh, uh, depending on the price of carbon, 350 to 470 million dollars. And my understanding is the UN Adaptation Fund only gives loans and not grants like the World Bank is currently doing with its pilot program on adaptation. Is yes, this is, this is we, we, we only give grants to countries because adaptation cannot be done by loans. Adaptation is uh, a challenge that developing countries face uh, in, the, uh, in the wake of the climate change actually happen in the ground. So, no, we only give grants, yes. Okay, brilliant. Well, I'm sure you're very busy and you yes, probably need I to go. So, thank, thank you. you very much for your time. Yeah.